Good morning, this is Kathy Peck of Tea and Stamps, and it feels like it has been ages since I have made a video, so we've had a lot going on here. Um, my husband has been ill, my daughter came home on leave from the Navy, and so it's just, that's been taking up my time, but today it's going to be uh, one of my, in, my stamps A to Z installments where I feature one of my older stamp sets. Nothing new, nothing in the current cat. Well, that's in the current catalog, but it's been around for a while. And this one, I'm going to use uh, Peaceful Moments and the Painted Poppies. These two came out as a collection with 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 paper embellishments, uh, oh, all kinds of stuff. I think it was two years ago, but it's still in the current catalog. There's a die set that goes with it, but today we're just going to use the stamp pads. But let me show you where it is in the catalog. It's one of those sets that I consider timeless. On page 29, yeah, they're painted poppies and the peaceful moments, which are the nice sentiments, which has a mixed font uh, stamps. And then here's some really cute samples over here. A background paper. Here's some one of the dies. And then here's some more dies. I I really 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 like this set, and I haven't I haven't used it enough this year, so I thought I'd bring it out for one of my my stamp A to Z. And even though we've skipped from whatever letter I did last to P, but that's okay. All right, so for this particular technique that I'm going to do today, I I like to use my stamp and pierce mat because um, I need a little. This is a hard desk with paper, and I do have one of those little foam pads under here, but I need something a little thicker to get the result that I, I want. And I can show you. Let's see. Where's my card sample? Oh, here it is. All right, so today's card is going to be this. This little quick and easy. Um, and this... I think this particular layout lends itself to any sentiment here. You could use any sentiment from this stamp set. Um, thinking of you with all my heart. Uh, thank you with deepest sympathy. Happy birthday. I think those sentiments would work really well with this. So, And this technique is where you're going to just ink up your block and put it directly on the paper. So you need a good firm firm but slightly giving surface to do that. So to make this little gem we need a piece of cardstock and I have par this is the new color parakeet party which I'm really loving this green. It's just vibrant. It's so just so yummy and summery. So this is cut 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half and folded. Okay the white oops liner for the inside is five and a quarter by four and then this top layer that we're going to stamp on is three and three quarters by five okay so what you need then is ink and i'm using the coordinating ink i'm just keeping it all in the, in the family parakeet party and i like to use the b block for this this is the b block you need to make sure your block, the surface you're going to stamp with is clean. I usually wash my blocks like once a month because I do manage to get all kinds of gunk on them. And when I have classes, they get, they get a little dirty. And so I wash them just in warm, soapy water. Sometimes if I have some really nasty glue that won't come off, I will use a little lemon or orange essential oils and it gets it right off. And then I wash it right away because you don't want the lemon or the orange essential oil to corrode your your block which it will I know it will affect plastic I just don't know about acrylic but and I love these blocks because of this little groove here it just makes it so much easier to handle so alright and you need a piece of paper towel right here keep it right here to clean it off alright so here we go um, you can go any orientation with this you know this vertical horizontal whatever you want but you want to stamp three and I like to just stick it in here and get it nice and juicy and I always take a look at it and 
from both sides and make sure there's nothing on there. One time I had a hair get in there. And, well, that just doesn't look right when you're stamping. And then just kind of lay it on here and squish it down really good. Sometimes they're straight. Sometimes they might be a little crooked. Don't, don't let that bother you. It's okay. This is, like I said, quick and easy stamping. This is a good technique like for a beginner class. You know, if you want to create a background and you don't have a lot of a lot of supplies, making a nice background with with a stamping block is nice. You can also, if you use the uh, shimmery white paper or watercolor paper, spritz it and spray it. Unfortunately, I'm out of both. See, I have like a little hole right here. I don't know. That just happens. But that's okay. That's what makes it unique. I'm going to fill in most of it when I hit it with this block. You have to really give it a good firm press. Okay, well, we didn't. So, scrub that off. Alright, so that that's it. That's, that's done. So, we'll get our Memento Black. Let's see here. All right, I used this big one. Does it fit on there? Oh yeah. Get these ready. That'll go right there. And I only needed a bit of this one, so I'm just gonna stick it here. Okay, because. <clears throat> On this image, because I didn't use the whole image, I will put like a little, I've got a scrap paper that I've been playing around with. Like, I'll show you this one. This is one where I experimented with the water. But see, if you use the water on the regular vanilla or white cardstock, it just buckles up. So, so we'll, I'm going to stamp this one first on the bottom. I'm going to mask it with this. I'm going to go just slightly below the, the block image because if you'll see in this card, I didn't do that. I mat, I put my mask too close to, to the edge and it didn't come all the way through. So I'm thinking if I back it up a little, it probably would be better if I had a thinner paper too, but we don't right now. I like to stamp these on here to see how they're looking. This ink pad is looking a little dry today. Let's try it this way. Yeah, I think I like that better. Let's see how it goes. So I have the same same effect. I guess I need to use just a mask mask to get it to do it right the next time. Okay. Well, we've had a break in our we had 21 days straight of 100 degree weather, which some of the days were like record breaking. 115 I think was the hottest it got. Which is not typical for this part of Texas. So unfortunately our grass is brown because we're in a drought so we we try to conserve water and um, you know I can't complain this is not as bad as 2011 where we had a hundred and day a hundred days of a hundred degrees and then that drought lasted it started in 11 really badly and lasted until 2015 or 16 when it was it was pretty touch and go there for a while, but we made it. Okay, so here's the last image. I'm going to tilt this a little bit. Okay, there you go. That's that's that. Now we're ready for the sentiment. Let's see. I think I want to use the sympathy one today. Yes, I think that's going to work 
just fine. No, I, I'm going to practice stamping this on my paper. I haven't. When I use the um, the red rubber stamps, sometimes you know I don't actually get the little stickers on there quite in the right places. <laughs> so I kind of like to. Oh, see, oh, that's really crooked. So I want to tilt it up a little. Okay. I so I practice on a scrap paper or on my grid paper to kind of get an idea of how I have to stamp this. I think I'm. Wish me luck. Oh, that came out really good. Oh, good. Well, then that's it. That's all the stamping is done. Now, to, to add a little interest, um, I could, you could splatter some ink on here, you know, like with the Stampin' Right marker and just fill up this little space. That's just to take it up a step, but we're going to keep it real simple today. All right. So let's get this assembled and I do want to stamp a little bit of something on my inside and use this little black one and I want to do some stamping on the envelope so I need to get in the habit of decorating my envelopes I'm really horrible about doing that you know sometimes the envelope needs a little pizzazz as well it kind of gives the postman something to look at don't you think Ready. Get my little glue. Hopefully it'll come out. I've had to clean these. I love these little containers, especially for my classes. But they do if you if you don't keep them plugged up, you know, pinned up while you're not using them. They the glue tends to clog up. But it's easy to clean. Just a little warm water and a few few seconds and it's it's done it's ready to to go again but you know like everything in life it needs a little maintenance I got something dirty on there probably my dirty fingers okay there that one's done all right now let's stick this on there and decorate the envelope and we will be ready to go and you do need to make sure you use a stainless steel pen not necessarily with the Tombow but I also in for some projects, I use um, what is that? Art glitter glue, and if it doesn't have a stainless steel pin in there, ooh, not good. It gets kind of nasty. Yeah. How's that? Oh, that looks good. All right, let's do something to the envelope real quick want to do similar technique I'm going to turn it this way so it fits nicely Ooh, can you hear my dog snoring back here it's early in the morning I let them out and then they'll go back in their pens and lay around until breakfast but it's not breakfast time yet I make them wait until the sun comes up. So and it's it's getting there. Ooh. There we go. That is it. Quick, easy, and I think. Very nice. You can do this in any color combination. I like to suggest if you're going to use, do the direct ink onto the paper from the block that you use the lighter colors and then stamps the image in the darker color. It comes out really well. And here's another one, that, another sample I have. This is where you can just do multiple colors of ink. And this is that dragonfly garden. I just need to add a sentiment to here. But here I use like Calypso Coral, so Saffron, and I think that's pear pizzazz but yeah that's it so that's what you can do with that all right thanks for joining me today again this was Kathy Peck of T and Stamps if you follow if you let me start over again um, please consider liking and subscribing I'd love to have you um, follow me on my blog on Pinterest here on YouTube whatever you like so thanks. Have a great day. Bye.